Hi everyone! In this video, you will learn about different versions of .NET and which one you should choose for your .NET applications. So, I've heard this question many, many times. There are different versions of .NET. There are .NET Framework, .NET Core, Xamarin, Mono, etc. Which one should I use? And to address that, this video is about all the different versions. So many years ago, in 2002, we created first.NET and .NET Framework 1.0 was the platform all your .NET applications would target. Over many years, that was a great platform to build your applications, but as time passes, new requirements are arising. In software world, uh, things revolved very, very fast. And over the last few decades, we got many great things such as uh, cloud native development, mobile development, web became more popular, and new requirements for performance and bandwidth cannot be compared to what it was decades ago. So the .NET framework was no longer good answer for modern needs of software applications. And that's why seven years ago, we created the new platform .NET Core. .NET Core was open source, cross-platform, super performant, very light platform initially for web and native development. And as time passes, we realize that would be a great platform for all .NET applications. So we kept adding to .NET Core, growing it into a platform that covers all types of applications. But of course, there were already many applications that were targeting .NET Framework. And sometimes if you're building library that you want to reuse in your web application that is targeting .NET Core and your desktop application that is targeting .NET Framework, you want to make sure your library is compatible with all different types of apps. And that's why we created .NET Standard. .NET Standard is not a platform, but an interface. And if you're writing applications on .NET Standard, that means that that app can be consumed from both .NET Framework and .NET Core, because APIs that are included in .NET Standard are implemented in both framework and core versions. So now we had .NET Framework and .NET Core and .NET Standard. And of course, mobile devices became very popular. And there was a need for developing mobile apps. That's where Xamarin was created. And Xamarin was built on Mono. So Mono is a .NET platform for building mobile applications. At this point, we had too many .NET platforms. And we've heard the feedback from you that it's very confusing, it's not convenient, and you wanted just one .NET platform that you would be using moving forward. And that's exactly what we did. We took all the best things from all the platforms and we created .NET. We started with .NET 5 to emphasize that 5 is the highest version among the latest .NET Framework 4.8 version, the latest .NET Core 3.1, and so on. And moving forward, .NET, just .NET, we dropped all the words Core, Framework, etc., is the platform you want to target for all your applications. It is cross-platform, it's very flexible and extremely performant. It allows um, you to deploy your applications much better. You can have multiple versions of .NET on your machine. So this way, we are not afraid of breaking you by introducing some regression issues, and we can release our new versions of .NET much faster. And you can benefit from all the new things also much faster. And if you could notice, there's also .NET standard, a bit great, but still standing there. Why is it so? Well, if you still have .NET Framework applications and you're, they're in production, you're not planning on touching the code, you just want to keep them running, and you want to have some integration. For example, you have libraries that are consumed from both your .NET Framework and your .NET applications. 
that's where .NET standard can still be handy. So if you want to have the code that is compatible with .NET framework and .NET and all the versions, all .NET applications, you can still use .NET standard. For all your new applications, I recommend using .NET. The latest .NET version is .NET 8, and that one has the highest performance, the best APIs, the new modern approaches of how to build your application, the new features of C Sharp, and many, many more improvements in each area. And if you're building uh, applications, your apps are only on .NET, you do not need .NET standard anymore, you just use .NET and upgrade it. We also switched to a new release schedule so now we are releasing .NET every year in November. That also was a requirement from you guys. You asked for some specific schedule because it was very hard for you to plan upgrades when you did not know when a new .NET version is coming out. Now you know it's coming every November and every other version will be long-term support version, which means that we will support it for three years. And that way, we are going to integrate and introduce new features every year. And every other year, we will keep the version for three years. So you have plenty of time to upgrade to the latest version. In this video, you have heard about all the different versions of .NET and the latest .NET version, .NET 8. This is the version that I highly recommend using for your new apps and upgrading your existing apps to this version. Thank you.